Hi, this is a very beautiful problem from ISI entrance. It, it's the problem is like this. You have 3 to the power n digits, a 3 to the power n digit number. That's a given. You have to show that this number, this is divisible by 3 to the power n. That's the goal. So there are multiple ways of doing this problem. We will be using mathematical induction. But if you can do it without mathematical induction, why don't you put your solution in the comment? Um, others can see it and we can also check. It, it can be a very beautiful solution without induction. So how do we, how do we use induction? Well, it's like something like this, that you start with the base case, which is step one, which is for n equals to one. You check whether it's true. So 3 to the power 1 digits, which basically means you have three ones, 1, 1, 1, and you want to know whether it is divisible by 3, and you can just divide and check it is divisible by 3. So step 1 is done. Step 2 is assume for n equals to k, for n equals to k, which basically means that if there are 3 to the power k digits, then that number is divisible by 3 to the power k. So if we have a bunch of ones, and if there are 3 to the power k digits, then assume that this is divisible by 3 to the power k. Okay, so that's step 2. Nothing to do there. Now using the step 2, we have to prove step 3, which is, Proof for n equals to k plus 1, n equals to k plus 1, which means if you have 3 to the power k plus 1 digits, show that this number is divisible by 3 to the power k plus 1 using the step 2. You have to use the step 2 for this. So how do you go about that? Okay, so the key observation, it's a very simple observation is this so that this is the key every problem has sort of a key a magical key that opens it up so the key observation is this that 3 to the power k plus 1 is simply 3 times 3 to the power k this is kind of interesting because it's very simple but it will become very useful for this problem so what you have is you can just add 3 to the power k, 3 to the power k, and 3 to the power k three times, and you get 3 to the power k plus 1. Let's use this. So let's take this k plus, 3 to the power k plus 1 digit number, which is 1, 1, 3 to the power k plus 1 digit number, and piece it up into three blocks. So each of these blocks contains 3 to the power k digits. Each of these blocks contains 3 to the power k digits. Okay. So in total, we have 3 to the power k plus 1 digits. So now we are almost done with the problem. Because we know that this particular block, when I divide that by 3 to the power k, that's an integer because that's the step 2, the induct induction assumption. We have assumed it for n equals to k. So if there are 3 to the power k digits, we have assumed that it is divisible by 3 to the power k. So now this is an integer. So let's say this is t. So if you divide this entire number, let's say if you divide this entire number by 3 to the power k plus 1, let's use a different color, 3 to the power k plus 1, then that's basically dividing it up into 3 times 3 to the power k. Now, each of these blocks is divisible by 3 to the power k. So, I mean, you can write it like this, maybe 1, 1 3 to the power k once, and then 3 to the power k zeros, and 3 to the power k zeros. So, that's the first part. Then you have 1, again 3 to the power k once, then again 3 to the power k zeros, and then finally you can write it like this. So if you divide that by 3 to the 3 times 3 to the power k, now each of these parts is divisible by 
3 to the power k. So this is T because that's the sort of the quotient. T is an integer, but it's not a maybe may not be a single digit integer. So T a bunch of zeros and then T again a bunch of zeros and then T divided by 3. So you just need to show that the numerator is divisible by 3, which is very easily shown to be true because, well, there are multiple arguments. Again, you can do that. But you can just see that if you want to add up the digits, it becomes 3t. The sum of the digits becomes 3t. And if the sum of the digits is 3t, if the sum of the div digits is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. So the numerator becomes divisible by 3. So this th last 3 that is needed, it can be factored into the numerator. That's it. That's the end of the proof. We have proved it for n equals to k plus 1. Your job is to try a different solution to this problem um, without induction maybe. Also, check out chinta.com. We have recently launched an adaptive homework practice software for Maths Olympiad and ISI and CMI entrances. It's very beautiful. It, it sort of the software learns how you do mathematics. What are your weaknesses? What are your strengths? and lets you practice Olympiad problems, ISI, CMI entrance problems accordingly. It also lets you challenge your friends who are of the similar level as you are. So there are beautiful challenge problems crafted for you and your friends. And you can also get one-to-one get -one help and doubt clearing right into the software. It's all baked into the same system. So check it out. Uh, you can sign up for the, uh, for an early trial of the software. Link is in the description. And I'll see you in the next one for some more beautiful mathematics. Thank you.